Corey from Arena Mini Four Wheel Drive Club, and I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And uh, today I'm going to uh, show you guys the new setup that I have been created for the MS Uncut version of suspensions. So basically, the idea is all came from. Uh, 2018 July last year when I went to uh, uh, United States the Los Angeles and because they have a race they call tune race and uh, that is uh, basically only tune motor allowed so basically for example uh, torque tune atomic tune and the uh, rev tune and those those tune motor are only only those motor allowed in the tune race and also all the parts uh, for for the on the car you cannot cut it trim it and uh, and also cha chassis is also the thing you cannot cut it the only thing you can do is uh, you can cut the front or rear bumper for the clearance for the rollers and also on the cow the the body the cow you can trim a little bit to fit your setup for example your tires if you're using uh like for example my cow is only usually is for the small wheels but i make it as the large so i trim the here and here a little bit and but the the cow itself still can be recognized like uh, for w what cow that is so uh and uh, I I made this chassis because uh, the the rules they got is uncut. So I was thinking, is there any way I can using the MS chassis and even though without the cutting, I can still do the suspensions. So I spent four months before I go to LA last year. So I uh, I was keep testing. And thinking about how can I do it so I do the test over and over and uh, over again so finally I found a way to do the suspension even without the cutting so uh, it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty good idea especially for the new people just get into this hobby so because uh, there's lots of people they want to do the suspension but they think it's really complicated and because be honestly for the open class like the regular Tamiya class you, if you want to do the, the suspensions you you have to cut the chassis and uh, you have to make the chassis have uh, a little bit movement for to and also you have to cut the chassis uh, to put the spring and there's lots of lots lots of stuff you have to do to make us the suspension <clears throat> so uh, but this way what I do is it's very quick you can only build a chassis for the suspension without the cutting and only spend five minutes because I do count the time so only spend five minutes then you be able to make a suspensions uh, so here's a, a, a example the also this is the car uh, I I went I bring it to with me to LA this time and very lucky I won the tune race and also uh, that also is uh, shows uh, the setup that I do is it works on the tune race so it means that the un even the uncut suspension it still works uh, so so this this is the car that I bring into the LA this time and uh, won the first place at the DXM and also uh, also this car doing pretty good job if I into the uh, semi-final even though uh, uh, in in the end if uh, it flew out of the track but well it's still pretty good uh, I, I it runs pretty good I, I I would say so today we are not gonna talk about this car so today we're gonna talk about this so this is the MS uh, suspensions uncut version so there 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 are two different type of version of the suspension uncut so one 
is this one also uh, it is the easiest way to do the suspension is using this the NT04 uh, chassis the Bomberless MS chassis that the uh, Tamiya already has it for the for for the, this uh, MS so it's pretty easy to uh, to 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 make it uh, suspension without cutting and also I know there's uh, some people they are trying to copy the setup even though when they see my uh, I post the, the stuff on the Instagram and they try to copy it and uh, in, in the end I would say they fail uh, because they can't even see the detail like, inside like it's pretty easy but still if you can't see the detail you don't know how to do it so uh, so today I'm going to make the video and show you guys how I make it so how do I make this chassis so as you can see this one it's uh, I already make the video with this for this one uh, this is already uh, after I built it so you will see the video and uh, you will see how I do it okay so please check the video thank you Okay, so this is what I'm going to count the time and then uh, here is what I'm going to show you guys what I'm using for support at the bottom so basically it's for all the units the uh, plastic uh, wheel bearings so what I do is I using the the Tamiya drill to contest on it and of course if you're using the round head screws you don't have to and but i'm using the uh the countersunk screw the flat head so i'm just uh, feel still better to using the still do the countersunk and just can hide the screws because we have to protect the track is not get damaged so you can see i contest on it and then I put the screws in and all of course there's uh, some uh, stuff you have to remove it and to make it fit perfectly okay see yeah now it's uh, a little bit better yep okay so yep that's how it is And then we go to this is the three millimeter spacer and there's the screws and also there's a chassis just ignore the the battery part is uh, it, there I know there's supposed to be some something over there but uh, I just doing using this chassis for doing the the video so but it doesn't affect anything and this is the NT03 chassis so that you can bought from the Tamiya the Bomberless MS chassis front and the rear and also there's uh, the hobby knife and those are the four soft spring the black and that's the cutter and the flyer and different shape and this one too and uh, this is a crazy glue we need to use it and also that's the screwdriver of course we need that and this well obviously my hand is very stupid so I need that okay so right now I'm trying to get my hand relaxed and start counting the time okay now time is counting and first I just cut off the chassis Okay, then uh, I'm going to apply a little bit crazy glue just beside the poles and then I'm gonna put the spring beside the poles ok 
okay as you can see you have to do it very gently and also you cannot put it too further okay so that's why we need different type of tools because sometimes uh, you need to using something to hold the spring and now i'm doing the other side same spot as uh, beside the bolts and also put the spring like some people might gonna ask is the crazy glue gonna hold the spring yes it will because after I put the chassis on it will stay at the position unless there's a really a serious impact and now we are going to work on the front and the rear part so you can see there's a two I would call it chassis the, the lock because uh, those two are the things to lock the chassis together and then what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to bend it and so make it change the shape so make it it's not locking the chassis so you see I'm trying to bend it a little bit and for this uh, this chassis it's okay and to 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 bend it so you can see okay it's not straight anymore so when the when the chassis is moving so it won't lock it okay so now we are doing the rear part it's same thing as the front still bend those two lock and one thing you have to be careful when you bend it don't bend it too hard because you might break so bend it gentle and also one thing is when you bend it and you better put it on and try like push it and see how the movement it works how the movement it works does is anything block it or anything locking is the lock still locking the track uh, sorry the chassis then if it is then bend bend it a little bit more okay so right now you can see i insert those uh, three millimeter spacer into the chassis to make it like extensions then make uh, basically make i'm making the bolts longer so i'm giving a space for the chassis can do some movement okay so right now i'm using the countersunk screws and plus those uh the support i are using the plastic wheel bearing to do it and I counters on it so I just uh, tied it on on the chassis so you, you need four of them but when you are doing the setup you don't really need uh, using four of them okay because the front and the back uh, you might need to uh, install some uh, plates right so for example the front plates rear plates then you are you are using those so the front you don't need the the plastic wheel bearings but just for this video because i'm just showing you how to do the chassis so i'm tightening the four of the poles okay so right now it's almost done and unfortunately when i'm trying to record a video okay see now the the video just automatically stops so i just re, uh, press the recording again so you see i spend almost uh, uh 30 seconds to uh reset the video so now it's almost done okay as you can see the last screws and last plastic wheel bearing and the spacers okay and it's all been installed so you can see right now okay i press stop and you can see the how is the movement for the chassis
Okay, so like every time when you do it, then you can check. And the time I'm using is five minutes and 56 seconds. And plus, uh, there is a time I just uh, wasted because the video stopped. So it's about five minutes for building this chassis. And right now you can see is I'm trying to install the wheels, tires, uh, and uh, like terminals, gears, and to show you how it actually works. So I just uh, speed up for this video because this uh, it take forever, and this is everybody knows how to do it. So I just speed it up and uh, just ignore the tires and the wheels. Uh, just I just take it randomly so don't bother of those uh, stuff and uh, every time when you do please check is the wheel your wheels is tight enough don't make it too tight because if you make it too tight that will affect your speed will make your car slow okay so now you can see it's almost done so after counter gear and I check it and I put the um, motor cover okay so now you can see the front and the back how it works and there's uh, some drop test okay all right so now we check in the movement this is uh, smooth enough Okay, and see the wheels is the gear is biting each other's and now we turn on and see how it runs and also we all of course we have to check how is the move movement during the car is running so basically it runs perfectly and still buying the Okay, so this is today's video and shows you how to using the NT-03 MS bumperless chassis to do the uncut version suspensions and good for the new people who just uh, get into this hobby and you'll be able to do your own uh, MS suspensions. And also next video we're gonna talk about and I'm gonna show you is using the regular MS chassis to do the uncut version suspension basically most things uh, most stuff are pretty much similar only thing different will be how to install the springs because the the position in uh, install the spring is going to be different from the NT-03 and the uh, regular MS suspensions okay so if you like this uh, video please follow my channel uh, Arena Mini 4 wheel drive club and also if you want to see more video like this, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much. This is today's video. See you later.